Tell you what, with the way the forecast has been lately, probably not going to hear too many folks complaining about this weekend, even though it will be running awfully cool, well below average highs. And uh, right here are your culprits. You've got one, two cold fronts on the move that are going to really bring very little in the way of rain, but just keep knocking us down as far as the temperature goes. So the first one this evening and another one tomorrow morning. And uh, those boundaries will keep highs maybe in the upper 50s for some, low 60s likely for a number of folks. And uh, just some reinforcing shots, cooler air. In fact, cold enough that we may even get into a frosty situation Sunday morning. So be prepared for that, especially if you're a backyard gardener, you're trying to get things started, you've got any plants outdoors. Uh, yeah, the drill Saturday night, bringing everything in or covering it up. Yeah, we'll be on. Max Track Live shows the rain that was on southern and eastern Kentucky overnight is uh, since pulled out of here and is rapidly tracking northeast up through New England states as low pressure does the same. There are the couple of boundaries I just showed you with the surface map there. So for today, very little happening. It's going to be already is a beautiful day. Sunshine, highs upper 60s to low 70s. This is the frontal boundary, the cold front tracking in this evening around dinner time. Out ahead of it, a little bit of broken cloud cover and just maybe some isolated showers. So minimal impact here. And then we'll go mostly clear overnight. Tomorrow morning, yet another one. And behind that boundary, we'll have just enough cloud cover. We may even see an isolated shower. Go partly sunny Saturday afternoon. And again, temperatures are going to be probably about 10 degrees cooler tomorrow as opposed to this afternoon. And then more of the same Sunday. So where are we? Well, we're in the mid-60s. It feels great. Got sunshine downtown, our Lexington Center weather bug camera looking good. We've got a west wind, a little on the breezy side, sustained at 12 miles per hour. And temperatures already hitting 70 degrees in the Ville. And we've got a low to mid 60s elsewhere, 67 right now up in Frankfurt. So we've got this set up into next week. I've got you out from about Tuesday, next Tuesday through next Thursday, leading up to Derby Day and, of course, the Oaks on Friday. Uh, we're getting a flip-flop in the overall upper air pattern, something we haven't seen a whole lot of with the trough out west and the bridge building in out east. What this means is, as this ridge builds in, we'll have above average warmth, a surge of warmer air starting early next week, carrying on for a number of days. Unfortunately, this is going to happen just prior to Derby weekend, which means at some point you're going to go back in the other direction. So that's my concern going into the weekend after this one. Our warm surge, while well, we may see a dive in the other direction, we're definitely going to have some shower and storm chances on the rise as well. So a little bit of trouble as we get closer to Derby weekend. Tree pollen and grass pollen now both hitting us. So if you're an allergy sufferer, here are your culprits. Uh, grass up at a moderate level, and it hasn't really been registering much lately, so even that's starting to come on. We're in the upper 60s today, low 70s, a beautiful afternoon. Tonight, after that isolated shower chance this evening, low 40s, we may see some outlying areas in the upper 30s, and there's that weekend. Watch out for that frost freeze potential. I think more frost than freeze Sunday morning. And next week, that warm spike, and then things start to get a little more interesting as we uh, track you uh, closer to Derby weekend.